Hi guys, this is Tekken57 and uh, this is a tutorial video on how to use a script I created for quickly rigging uh, your models to a 2K22 uh, MDL skeleton. Uh, this script will also help you to adjust the UVs and I will also uh, rename uh, some of your meshes. Uh, for today's example, I'm going to be looking at porting um, a mod which I created for 2K19, which is a Rick Steiner mod. Um, I've prepared all of the uh, meshes already. Uh, I've named the meshes according to the uh, internal model names that uh, 2K22 or 2K19 uses, uh, which is M underscore, which is model underscore, and the name of the object. Okay, normally the name of the object corresponds to the texture which the, um, um, which the model will be utilizing. Okay, for instance, the uh, M underscore combinations model will be using the combinations.dds texture. So let's import all of these models into a Blender. I've installed a uh, batch wavefront uh, importer plugin into Blender, you can either use this or you can import one at a time. The Wavefront batch importer actually saves you a lot of time. So I would recommend uh, installing that. Okay, when you click this, uh, I would select the Keep Vert Order option so that it doesn't do any kind of optimization on the uh, meshes. And I'll select all of the meshes that I want to import. Okay, now note that if you are exporting the objects from uh, X-Ray or using any of the uh, Mac scripts that I use to import the Y objects and exporting on 3D Studio Max, the objects are usually rotated by 270 degrees. Okay, if you need to fix the rotation on the objects to align it to the 2K22 uh, models, uh, you just go into the uh, object properties and you adjust the rotation. Okay, I've already done this for this example, so I'm not going to spend time doing that. Okay, so firstly you'll notice that uh, there's quite a few body objects. Um, because 2K19 has all of the body objects have split up separately. So what I'm going to do firstly is I'm going to combine all of these into a single object. So I'm going to select all of the meshes. I'm going to uh, click on Control plus J, which will join this into a single mesh. And then I also like to give this a uh, weld modifier. And I leave it with the default settings so that it uh, combines all of the meshes into a single mesh. Okay, uh, you'll notice that the naming of the meshes at the top, firstly, um, this name is what texture the uh, mesh will use. And the uh, second name that's below it is the internal model name of the mesh. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the zero at the end because uh, we don't need the zero. The value of the top usually corresponds to the texture that's going to be used. So it's not M underscore body, it would normally be body. But uh, the script that I've created is auto going to automatically rename this for us, so we don't need to worry about that for now. Okay, if there's any other meshes that are uh, separated, which I feel need to be combined, we'll do that as well. So I'm just going to combine these. Do the same thing there. Okay, here the jacket, I've got four separate objects. I'm just going to combine this into a single one as well. And give it a weld modifier. This keep in mind if you're combining the meshes, it means that the mesh is going to reference a single texture. If your meshes ref reference different textures, then you have to save them as different meshes. All right, so all of my meshes are now ready to be rigged. So I'm going to choose a base model which to rig this to. And for this example, I'm going to use uh, rig books as the base model. So I'm going to click on File, Import, and I'm going to select WWE 2K22 MDL. Okay, I'm going to select the base model for Rick Books and I'm going to click on Import Shape Keys. I'm clicking on the Import Shape Keys button because uh, you'll find that the mod bag and the eye overlay meshes have uh, shape keys or animations assigned to them which we want to preserve. So that's just why I'm selecting this Import Shape Keys. Now I'm going to rig all of uh, Rick Steiner's uh, meshes to this uh, model. In order to rig the Rick Steiner meshes to the uh, 2K22 model, uh, we're going to use uh, one of the uh, meshes which are already rigged and use the uh, weight paint uh, method to transfer the weights across. If you've followed any of my other tutorials for 2K19, this is equivalent to using the skin wrap modifier in 3D Studio Max. We are going to use the body and the head 
uh, to rig to. Uh, but before we do that, I'm just going to make a duplicate of this because when you utilize a script that I've created, it's going to break the uh, original mesh and I like to keep the original mesh um, in case I need to go back and rig again. It's not necessary if you don't want to. Okay, so with both of these meshes selected, I'm going to click on Alt plus D, which is going to create a duplicate uh, of these uh, meshes. And where it has the option here to select duplicate linked, make sure you uncheck linked, meaning that whatever changes you make to this mesh won't affect the original mesh. Okay, so we have two new uh, meshes, which is your head and your body, which is a duplicate of the original meshes. I'm just going to combine this hitting Control plus J. Okay, and I'm going to hide the, the original ones because you don't want to mess with that. Okay, so we're going to use this as our <coughs> source mesh in which to rig the other objects to. All right, if you look at the, the UVs of these uh, objects, you'll notice that uh, if you go into UV editing, that the UVs are not set correctly. And these UVs need to be set to be within the confines of this bounding box that's there. Okay, so now we select all of the objects that we want to rig. And then we also select the uh, source object from which we're going to copy the rigging data from. Okay, then we go into scripting. And you click on open. And you open the script which I've provided. Uh, you'll notice in the script there's a couple of options you have at the beginning. Firstly, the, uh, you have the option to rename the meshes, uh, which is set to 1. If you don't want to rename the meshes, you set this to 0. Basically, what this will do is it will remove the M underscore for the textures of the object, but it won't change the model names. And the second one is it'll, um, and the second option you have is to remap the UVs. Uh, as I explained earlier, if you leave this on, it'll fix the uh, UVs to move them within the correct bounding boxes. All right, those are the only two options you need to worry about. And then you click on Run Script. Okay, if the script has run correctly, you'll notice that the source object is rotated. And if you go back into the scene collection, you'll see that these all have uh, vertex groups which have been assigned. Um, they've been parented to the uh, skeleton. And uh, the naming has also been changed as well. Okay, we can get rid of the uh, object that we used to rig to. It's not really required anymore. Uh, if you want to go and check the rigging, you can go into the skeleton. And then select uh, pose mode. Okay, so you can see it's been rigged correctly. All right, so before we can export, if there's anything that you need to do on any of the uh, hair objects um, to give it a color, you can do that now. So select object mode, go into hair. Um, I'm just going to make it black. So I'm going to select vertex paint. I'm going to make the color black. I'll do the same thing for the uh, combinations. Yeah, obviously you will position the eyes and all of that as you would like. Um, I don't usually import the eyes and uh, mouth uh, objects and stuff from 2K19. I, I use the base models for this because they already have animations and shape keys assigned to them. So it's just a matter of positioning these as you require. Okay, now that we've painted these, we can uh, select the objects that we want to export. So I could select the <coughs> body, the head other head objects, eyes, etc. And all of the other facial features. And I can export these. So I click on File, Export, 2K22 Model. And I select the Export Shape Keys. As I mentioned before, the reason why I do this is because I want to uh, retain the shape keys for the mouth animations and the eye over uh, animations. Okay, I'm going to select Base Model. All right, now that's been import exported, we can do the same for the uh, attire objects. Okay, and now we have two separate MDL models. One is the base model, which contains all the body parts, and you have the attire parts. Okay, you can go and reposition the eyes and the um, the mouth objects, etc. I'm not going to really go into detail with that uh, for now, uh, as that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Okay, one last thing you need to do is uh, because you've created a new um, attire model you need to create a new uh, materials file for this. Um, so you can open up the materials editor, okay, and open up the um, 
attire model file that you've created. Okay, and then thereafter set the materials appropriately. Um, for the hair, I like to set it to new hair color changing. Uh, the other stuff should be fine. Okay, so now that you've generated your models and your materials file, you can comp copy these into the appropriate directories of a folder which you're going to be bake baking using cake tools. Uh, you can bake this and then thereafter you can deploy it to game. Right, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and uh, I hope the script makes rigging the models a lot easier for you as well. Until next time, take care and happy modding.